Suppose the amount of caffeine in the body after drinking a cup of coffee containing 240 mg of caffeine will decrease at a rate of 12% per hour. First, we are going to determine the amount of caffeine in the body after 3.5 hours. Well, remember here we have a percentage change, right? So this is the formula that we are going to use. We are going to use, let's say, Q for the quantity, and that's equal to A times 1 plus R raised to the T's power just like this. Why this one? Again, because right here we have the rate. yeah. And notice that it says decreasing at 12% per hour. So this right here means R is equal to negative and 12% is the same as 0 0.12. Be sure you change the percent to decimal like this, right? And then initially, you know, the, co the coffee contains uh, 240 milligrams. So this right here is the initial amount. So that's the A, 240. Now we can just draw in this into the formula. And as you can see, we will have A is 240. So I just have to put that down. And then we multiply by 1. But this right here is R and R is negative. So I will just have to minus 0 0.12 and then raised to the t's power right here right and then inside here we can just subtract so we see this is 240 times 1 minus 0 0.12 we get 0 0.88 and then raised to the t's power like this so this is the formula that we are going to use right okay so for question a right here it says we are going to find out the amount after three hours or three and a half hours right so that means t is equal to 3.5. So let me just tell you, we know t is equal to 3.5. And we just have to put this right here. Then that will give us the quantity. So let's put that down. So 240 times 0 0.88. And then the t is 3.5, like this. And then what do we do with this? Yes, of course, we will have to use a calculator. So let me just do it on the side for you guys. 240 times 0.88 raised to the 3.5 power, right? So I get approximately 153.427, and this is milligram. So this right here is the first part. As of the second part, B, it says how long will it take for the amount of caffeine to be 60 milligram of the body, right? In the body. Well, in this case, we know the amount that we're trying to get or the quantity that we're trying to get is 60. So Q is equal to 60. Therefore, I have to put in 60 into the Q right here. So 60 is equal to all this. So we have this equals 240 times 0 0.88 and then raised to the T's power like that. This time, we are solving for t, and t is in the exponent. So remember, we have to first divide the 240 on both sides. So let's go ahead and do that. Divide this on both sides. Cancel, cancel. Well, 6t divided by 240 is just 1 over 4, which is the same as 0 0.25. And that's equal to, here we have 0 0.88 raised to the t's power like this. Well, t is in the exponent, so what should we do? Yes, we have to take the logarithm. So we take the log and we have to match the base, which is 0 0.88. And again, again, be sure you put the log in the front and then this is log 0 0.88, like this. And then right here, I'll also put on log 0 0.88 and then you have that. This way, this and that will cancel and then we will have the T by itself. And to enter this on the calculator, be sure you do the following, unless you have the base key, right? But anyway, this right here is equal to log, and uh, here we will just use the calculator log, and the input here is 0 0.25, and then we divide it by this right here, which is just log of 0 0.88, like that. And then, again, we will just use our calculator, t will be approximately Enter all that on your calculator, and let me just do that for you on the side. Let's see, ln, well, I mean, natural, I mean, log of 0 0.25, and then divided by 
divided by log of 0 0.88. Alright, so t will be approximately 10.845, and this is hours. Yeah, so it seems like the coffee, will, the, the coffee if it's like 240 milligram, it will last you for like, you know, 10, 11 hours. So that in the end, you actually get like 25% of what you have drunk um, originally. But anyway, this right here is it.